Hello and welcome. Today we're going to take a look at a game called Shortest Trip to Earth. This is a uh, top-down survival roguelike. Very, very similar to something like FTL or Star Control 2, where we are, um, basically the idea is we are lost on the other side of the galaxy and we have to make our way back home. And uh, we have a spaceship, we have a crew, we have supplies, but we don't have enough supplies to make it all the way back. And so we're going to bounce around in different stars and planets and stations and try to, uh, well, make our way back, basically. Let's go ahead and try this one out. This is being developed by Interactive Fate. It is still in development. Very. This is an alpha build, and this is a demo. You can. Uh, I'll put a link in the description, and you can check it out if you like. But uh, let's go ahead and get in here and try out a game. Uh, Sector 1, the closest star. 15 years ago, a warp drive malfunction landed us in the wrong place. Thousands of light years away from our star system. Little fuel, little resources. We cryo-freezed ourselves and accelerated the ship towards the closest star, hoping there would be a way to refuel. We have now arrived. This is just like part one in the uh, the single player campaign mode. I guess there's going to be more. I don't know if they are there now or, or not or not, but uh, we'll have more of those. Uh, we get to pick our ship very FTL-like. We can pick a tiger fish or the arrow nose, which is very hard mode. It's very uh, Firefly Farscape-like. I like the look of the ships. Um, but I'm not a hard mode kind of guy. So uh, we're going to stick with the tiger fish for this one. I mean, it does look really cool though, doesn't it? Um... Lacks the fuel synthesizer, meaning it contains must replenish supplies from external source. You know what? You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it, just because it looks really cool and reminds me of Farscape. Alright, so before we begin the game, we get to pick uh, things to uh, bring with us. We have 15 points to spend on things, so let's go down the list. Uh, we can bring extra fuel, which sounds like a good idea. We can bring extra food, which sounds like a good idea. Uh, extra explosives, always sounds like a good idea. And extra metals. Yeah, we'll bring all those. And synthetics. Cash in a favor for package for a package of various synthetic materials. Uh sure. And exotics. I don't think we need exotics. Random pet. A live gift from an old friend of our AI. The creature is very intelligent and it may draw fire from enemy intruders. Sure, we'll bring the pet. Why not? There's some spare parts we don't want. A decommissioned nuke. Yeah, we'll keep that off the ship. A laser's upgrade, which is grayed out. I can't afford that one. Another pet, which knows vulgar words in all human languages and draws fire from enemy intruders. Same as that other guy. Warp animal bone, I don't care about that one. Donated waste sludge. Eh, maybe not. Uh, extra credits. Yeah, we'll take some cash. It's like Oregon Trail. Bring extra cash. You never know when you need to buy a wagon wheel. Uh, improvised med bay. Improved med bay. Uh, assembled them from spare parts. No, maybe not that one. We get, and a missionary joins our mission to feed her family of hundreds. We lose organics, but we gain a crew member. Ooh, what's this one? A rat mercenary. A poor mercenary joins in the mission for 100 credits. Uh, yeah. I'll take a rat. And extra ship module, decommissioned or degraded. Old module from a friendly organization. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, let's just get into the game here. I got three points left. You know what? We're going to buy a warrior princess. It's going to cost us some food, but you know what? Who doesn't want a warrior princess? Uh, my function in our ship's warp drive landed us on thousands of light years away from home. Little fuel, little resources. Our only option was to accelerate towards the closest star using conventional engines. Fifteen years later, we're here. Okay, so we have woken up from our crypto sleep sarcophagi, and we are now going to uh, we're now going to play the game. All right, so this is the uh, the world map. We've defreezed our entire crew. We've assigned all of them to operate different ship modules. You may want to review this later. Thanks. Uh, okay, so back here. So this is our um, this is our sector, our our solar system map at the moment. We are the little green arrow. We can fly around to different things if we want to. We also have our ship menu right here. This is our ship, and this is all the insides of the ship. Very FTL-like. We have crew. We've got, like, old Emil Garcia right here, who is... What are you doing? Uh, calculated the shortest route back to Earth. The journey goes through ten sectors of uncharted space. It means you'll need to find more fuel and other resources along the way to stay alive. If possible, explore every star system to maximize your survival chances. Thank you very much, AI. Uh, we have Emil Garcia, a gambler with un without unpaid debts. He is not very good at operating modules. He's not very good at repairing, but he's fast. Um, okay. Right now he is working on the shroomery, which I guess gives us food. Last time when I when I played my test game, I played on the other ship, so this this stuff is all new actually. Generates organics if operated by the crew. Two operators spots available. So yeah, both these guys are working this, and they're gonna give us some food. 
We have Elaine Moore over here doing the same thing. She's not very good at what she does, but uh, she enjoys tripping, so she's going to work on the mushrooms, I guess. We have Little Romer. What are you? Little Romer. A vicious killer turned into a harmless pet by years of... Oh, is that my rat that I just picked up? I bought? <laughs> I think it is. We have a pet slime as well. Uh, all right. Um, up here we have our bridge. On our bridge we have Sid, a uh, retired space fleet officer. We can move these guys around if we want to. We have Swifter, outcast from a rat planet. Oh, there's our rat guy. And we have Norris, retired soldier, ashamed of their past. Up here in our... What is this? Our um, shield emitter. We have Eleanor, Elaine... Uh, Aaron, and, uh, who are you? Uh, Brian. I was looking for someone who actually had good skills. I don't, I don't think anyone does. This thing lacks power, doesn't it? Uh, I'm actually starting out with, with not enough power. Yeah, interesting. Uh, but yeah, so we have some guns here. Like, we have, this is the Imperial Spitter A, is a, is a gun. We also have, there's one right here as well. And is that gonna be it? I think so. We have combat sensors, we have a nuke launcher. Long-range sensors there, which are out of power. We have a warp drive here in the middle. We have fuel. All this over here tells us our supplies. We have 15 crew. We have 111 food. We have 277 fuel, which is our maximum on the side over here. We have metals. We have synthetics used in repairing or crafting. We have explosives, which are like rockets that we shoot. We have exotics. We have zero of those. We'll find those along the way. And currency and fate. Used to unlock perks between games. All right. So what we want to do is we want to head out. Um, how much does this take to power? It takes four power. We only have two. So we could turn something off. We wanted to turn the long-range sensors on. Um, I don't know that we want to turn anything off, though. Multi-containers just holds all our stuff. Custom re energy reactor. Of course we need that. I'm not turning off a gun. Um, so I guess we're just going to go without it for right now. These are our engines back here. Uh, we have a storage container right there. We have a crypto sleep place right here. Where's my fuel tanks? I don't know if the Gatling gun. Now we got people run, work on the Gatling guns. Uh, container. Do you have my fuel? No, where are my fuel tanks? Oh, here's one. Fuel tank. Fuel tank there. Fuel tank there. Okay. Back to the map. So let's go ahead and check out... I guess we can get some ship repair there. We can go around here, though. Let's, let's, let's go over here. So we can see it's going to take us four fuel to fly here. And as we fly over there, it's going to use up our fuel... Um, supplies here. It takes 50 to jump to the nearest system. We're gonna go land here on this, uh, planet here. It's a commercial ship service station on this planet. Local business negotiation AI, rather crude one, states that the mechanics cannot offer any guarantees because they are using exclusively recycled materials. Apparently the service includes free food. So we can spend some money to get... What is it gonna do for us? Is it, like, it's gonna fix us. I don't need to be fixed, though. All right. Ship repair. Yeah, we don't have any problems with our ship, so we don't need repair right now. That's kind of a waste. Check out this planet over here. With our lack of sensors. Star magnetic interference prevents us from scanning the planet's surface from orbit. We cannot get, get more info by entering the atmosphere. Uh, yeah, that sounds okay. Or dangerous. Discovered an abandoned piece of a gigantic precursor spaceship. It looks like a big replacement part that did its job and then was dumped. Scavenge it. landmines. Central element in the middle, because we believed that the shell of a giant ship module is missing. Perhaps it contains something too valuable to be left behind. We cut the rest of it to pieces for storage and processing. We got ourselves some metals and some synthetics. Excellent. Next, let's go check out this uh, planet we have over here. We have Act. In. Orbital scanning reveals presence of life, but strangely, we do not spot much vegetation on the ground. It takes five fuel, but we can go explore it. Let's do it. I'm sure we'll be fine. Planet is covered with giant fungi. This means eco harvesting is easier because we can take the fruit bodies of the shrooms without killing whole organisms. Organisms. Uh, yeah, do that. Costs us more food, but we're gonna get some food out of this. More fuel, but we'll get food. Eco harvesting. We'll see how much we get out of this thing. As soon as we set up our organic harvesting equipment, some of the local giant mushrooms start to glow and sing, emitting strong EMP-like waves that disable near electronics. A deeper scanning reveals warp energy frequencies within the shrooms. Go investigate. A crew gets closer. They feel a mild telepathic connection established with the fungi. Vivid, psychedelic images pour into their minds, and they understood understand that this is how the fungi see the world. 
Its roots cover almost the entire planet, and it is connected with to all beings here. They realize the fungi is hungry. It wants food. It promises something wonderful in return. I could give you a hundred organics. I don't have a hundred organics. Um, so I can't do that. Well, what a waste of a system. All right, let's jump out of here. All right, so we were here at, we're at Ats right now. We need to get over here to Ponidon to get out of this sector. We have ten sectors to get through to get to Earth. So next up is Fana here. So let's jump to Fana. It's going to take us 50 of our fuel to get there. A uh, small ship is rapidly approaching tactical weapons range. It does not respond to our comm request. Prepare for battle. All right. So, again, FTL style. we got a battle going on. We can look at their ship. We can see they have guns here. They, have, they do have a shield, which is being powered... There's their batteries. Where's your shield being powered at? Not exactly sure. There's the warp drive, engines. Uh, is this it? Energy reactor. I'm not actually sure where the shield is. Oh, shield batteries. I guess that must be it right there. So what we can do is we can blow it up. So let's fire two of them at that. And the other two, we're just going to fire at the hull. We go. We're going to take out some shields. We can see their hit points right here and their shield points right there. My hole is here and my shield is right there. If we can get that shield taken out, then we can uh, do some damage to them. We have a fire. Is that what's going on? We have a fire on the ship? All right. Let's get... Uh, hey, you uh, you guys. Go put out that fire, please. What are you doing? Energy reactor. Eh, probably a good idea, but go work on that. Oh, no, no. It's not a good idea. Get back in there. <laughs> get back in there. Where's my... Is anyone in here? Put that fire out, please. Are you doing it? You get in here. How's the ship going? Okay, we almost got them taken out. Um, let's fire at their hull. Shields are down, just fire at the hull. Okay, you guys working on this? Get that fire out, please. Another fire over here. Got it, right? Where are you going? Get back in here. Get taken care of. Take care of that fire. Don't die on me. There we go. We got him. Okay. Good. Okay. Get those fires taken care of. That one looks like it's getting better. We can go ahead and repair it. Fires are still around. Can you put these fires out, please? Not real familiar with the ship. I have crew way up here. I have crew... I think everyone is down here that is on this side of the ship. Oh, we have these guys here. Come here. Put these fires out, please. No, I guess we're done. Um, no, we're not. We're not done. Just jump me out because the battle's over. Um, you, buddy. Come in here and put some fires out, please. Is this how it ends? We burn up immediately? over here. Alright, get those fires taken care of, please. Salvage complete. Our drones have salvaged all resources left on the battlefield. We got a lot of fuel. Very good, very good. We got all kinds of stuff. And some fate points, which we can use next time. Alright, stop. I don't need red alert. We got it. We're, we're good. We're good. We're good. Can you guys go back to your station? Uh, can you, um, repair that for me? And we'll get you back on your uh, station here in a moment. So we've got uh, old Hippado Hagen, who's uh, mm, sort of okay with uh, with uh, working on repairing things, but he'll be all right. Uh, so we, we were able to pick up a Imperial Destroyer 1000, which doesn't really do a lot of damage. It uh, doesn't really do much damage at all. Do I have a spot for it? I can replace things. I can replace my sensors here. I can't use my sensors anyways. So yeah, let's do that. Sensors, I'm going to put in storage here. What is this? Oh, another crypto sleep thing. Okay, well, we don't need, we don't need another one of those. That's the thing I got for my extra station. Anyway, anyway. We need a person to come man this. That's going to be you, buddy. I need you over here, too, though. I need more people. I'm a bit low on organics. Am I? Yeah. We don't want to run out of that. We got the shroomery going, though, so we'll hopefully find some. 
A little extra of metal. We'll dump that. Was there? A, there must have been a fire that that ruined some of my organics. All right, let's go. Let's go back into system here. We have primitives on Fana Four. We won't go there immediately, but we can go over here to this planet. So I speaking. That's what's being audio only. This is the Rat Imperial battleship Ferocious Rodent reporting illegal ambush and attack by squid warships. Uh, yeah, investigate. Systematic close range scanning revealed a battlefield with clouds of technical debris uh, remaining on the battleship and its attackers. No survivors were found, but we found stuff, so good. What's this top one? Uh, modules. We found a module? What did we find? A shroomery. If I had people, I would definitely put it in. But I'm not going to put it over the reactor. I could replace a fuel tank, but that sounds like a bad idea. I could replace my gun. I just don't have people to work it, though. Let's try it. What are you guys doing over here? Shield emitter. Let's put that in there. I want... Brian. Work on this. And... Elaine, you can work on this. We're gonna get double the uh, the shroomer. We'll see if we can get some food in here. This thing I'm gonna stick in storage. If we have to, we can we can tear it apart and get some metals out of it. And we're a little bit high on our synthetics. Okay, we're gonna have to dump the excess. Kind of a bummer. There we go. So now we're getting some food. Um, yeah, okay, yeah. We're getting some good food. Okay. Hopefully get some food. We're really chowing down on our food here. Stop eating so much, everybody. Is it because of... I'm not producing a bunch. Crew consumes 25. The pet slime eats a little bit. Is there like one person eating a ton? If there is, we're kicking them out. Alright, uh, back to the warp. Let's go. Do we want to go here? Of course we do. We can continue on to our moon here. Our planet that we are heading towards. Fana 9. The planet is covered in a thick layer of frozen low-grade meth low methane. Conditions make it economically worthless for us. Well, bummer. Let's go over here. It looks like there's a ship here. This red means bad. Ship can get hit by fast-flying fast -flying asteroids. Asteroid fields are either smaller, poorly visible static clusters, or larger fields of already in the sun and planets. So, uh... We're gonna get hit by asteroids. There's a ship. Approaching ship. Small ship is rapidly approaching tactical reference range. It does not respond to our calm requests. Battle again. There's no one of these. Um, okay, let's not lose. So we're gonna fire. You know what? We're just gonna fire at the hull. Just let them have it. Don't worry about shields. Just let them have it. Uh, you should destroy my warp. My warp core is down. Uh, you and they're working on it, buddy. Work on it. Get it fixed. There we go. We got them. We got them. We went through their shield. I, I guess our weapons go through their shields. Nice. Um, let's go. Oh, we got a scavenge. Right, right, right. Trying to scavenge. We have picked up all kinds of stuff. No food. No space food. But we need to get a new gun. And another reactor. Which, is it better than mine? I have now a time reactor. Oh, it's the same thing as what I have right now. So I don't need that. Um, we'll just... Mm, we'll scrap it. No, I don't, have, I don't have any space for it. Just stash it. I, I'm just... I'm still... I'm already... I'm still overdone on my metals and my... Uh, my synthetics. So... And we are actually making food now. Point in defense. Mm, I don't really have people to man that thing. Stash it away. Okay, onto this planet that we'll never make it to. Habited by highly militarized industrial era and sectoid civilization. Cities and industrial areas dot the landscape. We are still in the middle of our scan when we receive a radio signal. Locals have spotted us and send a warning to stay away from their property or else. Uh, we can try to trade with them. Let's ask the trade. What do you say? Locals lose their cool as they fear we are trying to manipulate them via communication. They shut all comm channels and launch a primitive nuclear attack against us from their ground bases. Leave this planet to fools. 
Uh, try to hack and obtain the primitive rockets launched at us. <laughs> um, force local warheads to dis warlords to disarm. Um, no, we're just gonna leave them. Okay. Uh, nothing really here, so let's go ahead and get out of here. We want to go to. I guess we can go here. We can skip Vix if we want to. No, we're gonna stop here. We'll stop. We'll stop at Vix or VX. Uh, another kind of quiet system. There's no stupid, really, not any stations around. We need a station so we can sell some of our metals and, and uh, synthetics. Maybe buy some... I don't know, maybe, not, maybe we don't need to buy food. If we're making it, maybe we can start selling food. Once we get en enough. A uh, large volume of harvestable fuel, harvestable fuel elements in the atmosphere. General atmospheric conditions are stable and almost perfect for orbital mining. Yeah, get some fuel out of that gas giant. Excellent, let's stock that up. I mean, message gas giant, and we mean every molecule legally belongs to Gal Prospect Incorporated. Disrespect to our rights and this property will result in our disrespect for your safety. Transmission end. Press on. We need fuel. Gas giant is ordered by thousands of miniature stealth mines. They cause considerable damage and force us to abort the operation almost as soon as we started. Upon explosion, each <laughs> upon explosion, each mine also released a signal burst, transmitting trying to steal our gas. Greetings from Gal. Prospect Incorporated, suckers. So we took a little bit of damage, but we got some. We got 11 fuel. <laughs> Alright, fine. I didn't want your fuel anyways. Right, what do we have here? Uh, where are we? Is this a, was that a station? Oh, we're at a station. Oh, Alright. Um, what is this? I can hire a person. How much... Oh, you, I, I can see how much they eat. It cost me 124 credits. I do have it. I could buy you. Uh, I could also buy some fuel here. Fuel costs two each. I've seen fuel cost one each before. We could also sell some organics. We are making it now. And we can buy and sell exotics if we wanted to be like a trade ship. I'm tempted to... I'm really tempted to sell a few organics. If I buy a person, I won't be able to afford as much. Maybe we wait. We'll wait until we'll see. Maybe that price will go up. But uh, if we buy a person, he might eat what organics we're getting. This guy's a little bit better. Um, I'm going to buy him. Let's buy him. Okay, here he comes. I want you to work this. There you go. You go work that station. That'll help out our shield emitter just a bit. And, um, yeah, when we get to a fight, we can always take someone off of the shroomery to go work this. But yeah, well, we probably could use one more person. But I think we're good. For now. We won't buy, we won't buy any fuel. Or we're good. Okay. On to the next. We'll, we'll run to the next place. And maybe about time to call it a day. Jump there. We have a bit of fuel. And there's a planet right here. What do we got? Shipwreck. Broken ship features unknown design, and our scanners show presence of active technology. But no life. Ship might still have active defense systems. Approaching this is risky. Uh, send in the drones. The crew is taking, taking legal drugs tonight. Nicotine vapor. Uh, ship had indeed a few automated defense systems intact. They opened fire at our drones, destroying a few. We could either try to neutralize the automated weapons from afar, or send a few crew members to hack the ship and get all its technology without risking breaking it. Um, go hack it. Hackers were launched at the ship aboard heavily armored boarding shuttles and survived to the point to uh, survive the point defense crossfire while approaching. Once inside, they discovered the ship was rather primitive and were able to disable it with little effort. Oh, nice. Look at all that fuel we just picked up. And way too many metals. Which we're going to have to dump. Um, yeah, we're going to have to dump all that. What do we got? Uh, a Stinger 1. Autocans are perfect for damaging weak enemy spots. Ooh, uses explosives. This one does not use explosives. This one's just a, uh, a laser. Which I could put in... I don't know... I'm not sure that we were... Hmm. I need more spots. I need more module spots. 
Um, I don't really know how to use the nuke launcher. But okay, we're going to just store them for now. We can probably sell these things pretty well when we, if we ever get to a station. Can I repair this? No. We can scrap and get metals and things, but we don't need that. It'll give us some exotic we could sell, potentially. Um, I think, however, we don't want this one. We want to go to uh, here. Let's finish up this last spot before we call it. Again, this is Shortest Trip to Earth, which is, uh, it's not on Steam, but I'll put a link to the, uh, the page and you can check it out. And there's, this is the demo that I'm playing. It's free for download. Oh, we got a station here. Oh, I can repair myself. There we go, that's what we want. It's gonna cost us 150, which we don't have. Um, but I can sell you... I can sell, nope, I can't sell that. I can sell you some explosives. Oh, here we go, I can sell you some synthetics. And metals. I'm gonna do that. I don't want to sell a ton, but we can sell like a uh, hundred, I think, of these, and probably a hundred of these. These we use these to repair our ship. So we don't want to use like we don't want to like go crazy. But we can sell a bit of that. That will get us some cash. Yep. And that one. So there we go. Now we have a bit of cash. We can go ahead and get our hit points set up. Repair. There we go. All better. All you gotta do is just wave the beam over it. And we are set. Alright, thanks again for watching. And uh, I will see you next time. We'll probably continue this a little bit more. I want to see how far we can get. Thanks for watching.